you go. You know what it is. At least I hope you do. Let's continue this. I don't remember what uh, chapter we're on. I think it's five. I hope. I don't know. But let's uh, finish this. I will be doing The Walking Dead Season 2. I'm trying to finish this as soon as possible so I can get right into Season 2 of Walking Dead. I need to continue. Lord it. Ethan! <clears throat> as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, <clears throat> who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. <laughs> he and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Oh, wow. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> what happened? Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Ooh. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I'd no wish to die. Hmm. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks She's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. No. Lord Ethan, I know <clears throat> these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <coughs> You'll Stop address him as Lord. <sighs> Lord Ethan, <clears throat> you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. I think I will. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. The the wall? No, I don't if know. you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Will be an injustice, my lord. Please, <clears throat> my lord. Take three fingers, my show him mercy, on me. send him to the wall. I'm thinking about show him mercy. Okay, if I show him mercy, he might steal from us again. If I send him to a wall. Some people will hate us, and he'll hate us. If I cut fingers off... Uh... What would happen if I cut his fingers off? I'm really thinking about doing it. 
take three fingers. I'm just going to show him mercy. Our house Screw it. Tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about <clears throat> our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. <coughs> he better not. He does again, I'm chopping those hands off. Or fingers, I meant. Okay, that was the end of chapter. That was certainly five, unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Who, though? Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Huh. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel <coughs> then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. <clears throat> okay, uh... Do I get a walk around? <clears throat> Man... One of them's gonna hate me no matter what, so... Who's that? Master... okay. That's the tower. I have a lot to check out. Cool. It's just a sword. Ryan. He's using a real knife to make a stone, well, not a stone sword, a wooden sword. I'll talk to him. Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Oh, God. Was he our enemy? A bad <clears throat> man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. <clears throat> All right. What's over here? Can't go over there. Come on, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So I'm supposed to talk to him. I'm not going to right now. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. <clears throat> oh, okay. I guess I'll talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. <coughs> the people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. Even if you don't decide now, you may need to soon enough. Until then, I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. <laughs> What's he doing? <clears throat> Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. No, it's nothing. I just need to walk and clear my head. Oh. 
Okay, I was going to tell him to do uh, that thing, do but I like guess not. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go um let the that one dude well I don't know, I might have that one guy uh be the freaking sentinel, is that what's called? Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords up, slash right, parry! Again! Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs can hold swords! A word? Of course, my lord. <clears throat> I don't know, I this dude seems like make, a douche. And I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No. But they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. I'm just going to go ahead and give uh, that bracer to him. Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. So, I can give him the thing right now? Oh ho ho. Where's that one guy at? <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to him about it. Back again, my lord. <coughs> As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my Lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my Lord. Okay, he didn't really give any points of why he wanted to be it. <clears throat> so, I'm not choosing him. I'm going to talk to Master, uh... Master? Or whatever. Yes, or Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number <clears throat> of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Uh, what is it you're doing over here? <clears throat> Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I meant, I'm yes. not ready just yet. What? Let me know when you are, Ew. my lord. Yes, I'm ready. 
My lord, can go upstairs are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, yes. maester. I'm ready. <coughs> Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Sweet. <coughs> <coughs> so here we go. We're going to uh, make our thing. This looks like Skyrim right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to end the episode here because it's starting to become 20 minutes. And with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, and stuff like that. I actually enjoy this game. Weirdly enough, it's boring, but I like it. I will see you in the next video.